Ladies and gentlemen, rock enthusiasts, YouTube connoisseurs, welcome to a special feature where we dive into a legacy of a band that has etched its name into the annals of rock history with a blend of heavy metal, hard rock, and psychedelia type of vibes. I'm talking about none other than the legendary Leafhound, um, uh, the pictures there, uh, uh, who are set to electrify the stage once again at the Underworld on the 26th of January. Let's rewind back though to 1971, where I was well, negative 12 years old. Wow, even my parents were young. And, th and this is 1971, this album, Growers of Mushroom. Uh, it became a sort of cult classic and a, a, a touchstone uh, sort of in the corner of a stoner rock movement. Uh, the album has you know, laden with sort of heavy riffs and, and uh, sort of rock and roll sort of like groove sort of influences uh, uh, and uh, uh, influenced the generation of, of bands uh, from uh, Caius to Monster Magnet but Leafhound was more than just a band they were storytellers and they drew inspiration from the world of horror Ray Bradbury's horror story The Emissary it painted a, uh, a picture more akin to a horror show than uh, a dope show and now we sort of fast forward quickly to 2007 which is kind of where we're focusing here on the video and after a long hiatus and a, a surge of interest uh, from the internet leafhound kind of returned with unleashed and it's a powerful statement that not only honored the past but also carved a path forward um the opening track uh 105 degrees which i gave the album a, a, a listen literally the the other day and uh, was it was introduced to it you know just recently uh and uh, uh yeah I, absolutely got stuck right in from the from the first note it really set the tone it's bluesy undertones uh, a groove that is both smooth yet assertive and uh, it's a song that immediately grabs your attention and uh, just makes you want to listen to the rest of the album as i did and the song also showcases french's seasoned vocals uh which have kind of aged like uh, a fine wine retaining all of the swagger and charisma that made him a standout in the very first place as we journey through the album tracks like barricades and nickels and dimes evoke a sense of nostalgia with their blues rock vibe uh, it's very reminiscent of the rolling stone 70s era but these songs are just not not just simple throwbacks they're a celebration of a time when rock was truly king and leafhound wears this influence proudly on their sleeves too Many Rock and Roll Times is a standout track. It's sort of uh, mixing cream and 10 years after styled swagger. Again, this is, swagger is, is a word that I would use predominantly with this band. Uh, they have so much of it. Again, we've got in this track, we've got powerful vocals and and uh, and Rainer's scorching sort of blues rock riffs. It's a song that it really encapsulates the spirit of Unleashed, a, a nod to the past with its sights still firmly fixed on the present uh, a little bit sort of word about the new lineup if i if i may um uh, now we now sort of feature sort of Luke Rayner, guitarist, uh, uh, bassist Ed Pearson and, and drummer Jimmy Rowland bringing fresh dynamics to the band and uh, Rayner in particular has so, got so much compliments to, to say towards the uh, guitaring in this it's just it, diabolically kind of emotional uh but kind of fierce and it, it's just stand out technical brilliance uh, uh some of these uh, some of these grooves and some of these playing um you know you know when you hear some guitarists and you just think oh it's time to put my guitar in the bin uh, <laughs> uh, such as uh, such as his prowess um uh, continuing on uh, the album also pays homage to the late vincent crane of atomic rooster with a heavy cover of breakthrough and again sort of guitars uh kind of fill the space left by the hammond organ on the original which i thought was a really nice touch and, and brought a, a leaf hound's own identity on the track now unleashed is an album that doesn't try to reinvent the wheel uh instead it takes uh the essence of what made leaf hounds music so cultish so 
popular, so impactful in the first place, and update it for a new generation. It's a record that will satisfy long-term fans and newcomers alike, proving that their legacy is not just about where they've been, but where they're going. Um, as we look forward to their live performance on the 26th of January at the Underworld in London, uh, Unleashed serves as a powerful reminder of, of uh uh, Leith Town's enduring influence and their ability to rock as hard as today as they ever did in their heyday. So get ready to experience the raw energy and time the sound of Leith Hound live if you can get there. Uh, I wish I could. You never know. There's hope yet. And uh, let the sp uh, spirit of Unleashed carry you away. Uh, thank you very much for watching.